Hello, welcome, and thank you for installing Skim. My name is Connor, and I'm going to show you how to set it up. And it's going to be well worth it, and it's going to enhance your sound design and producing capabilities. So just bear with me for around eight minutes. If you run into any issues, click the support link in this video, and I'll get back to you in an email. Let's dive in. So we're looking at the skim setup guide on resguide.net to get there. The link will be in the description of this video. So the first step is to download skim on the app store and uh, make sure you check your, your versions um, for iOS, Mac and Ableton. They only work past these versions. Um, with the exception of Ableton, you can read this if your version is under um, 10.1.13 and uh, skim does not work with Windows or Android at the moment although we are trying to figure out how to um, use it with Windows but it's it's difficult to get an iPhone to talk to a Windows computer okay the next step is to get the installer this will give you certain scripts that allow skim to work with Ableton really well so to do that you're gonna put in your email and hit get package and then go ahead and check your email and now you should get this email from us so download that installer open it up open up that folder and you'll see um, a .pkg file as well as a readme open up the .pkg I'm going to select just Ableton, but if you have any of these other softwares, you can select them as well. So go ahead and hit install and close out. If the installation failed, that means that your location for your Ableton project is not standard. So that's, that's no problem. You just need to make sure to look at the readme and follow these instructions. So the next step is to open up Ableton. And we need to connect our phone or our iPad to our Mac and have it uh, be received as a MIDI controller. So to do that, we're gonna plug in our device. I have Skim running. And on our Mac, we're going to open up audio MIDI setup. We should see your iOS device right here. You want to press enable and you're going to have to do this each time you plug in your phone. So if it gets unplugged, it's Ableton is not going to see it until you do this again. So the next step is to go into your settings, your Ableton settings and look at uh, link tempo MIDI, that tab. And you're gonna wanna set it up like this. So the control surface will be skim Ableton script. That should be there from running the installer and your input and output is gonna be iPhone or iPad. Okay, so now that we have skim connected to Ableton with the controller script, I'm gonna show you how we can look at some of these presets um, that'll help you get started with Skin. So in order to access the presets and the samples that are in the samplers, we're gonna go back to this downloads folder and we're gonna open up this .alp. This is an Ableton Live pack. And it's gonna ask you to select a destination for the pack. So I like to put it in my Ableton folder but note that you can't put it in another project folder. So the user library is another project folder. So I'll just put it in this projects folder. And then it's just gonna stay here. But uh, one thing you can do is just open up that project. So I'm gonna say open live set. And I'm gonna go to that project, skim starter project and open that .als file. 
And now we'll see five tracks with different instruments to test, um, as well as we'll have these folders. If you go to the current project on the left tab under places, you'll see skim Ableton effects and skim Ableton instruments. And what I'm going to do is drag those over to the sidebar so that I can access them whenever I'm producing, not just when I'm in this project. Um, so let's look at this skim piano slicer. And uh, to use it, we'll see that there's um, a sampler instrument rack here. I'm going to make sure I'm locked to it with my skim Ableton script. And then I'm just going to arm that track. And now when I tap skim, So in this case, you can see the, the sample start is being affected by X. And then we have an octave jump up and down. So, so that's pretty useful. You can throw your own samples in there, but this is just an idea to get you started. And let's look at this skim noise LFO. This is an instrument that doesn't use any samplers. It, it just uses the um, operator, the white noise, as well as this LFO. And if I play it, we have control over filtering LFOs, um, the speed of the LFO, and it's pretty useful for doing sound design. You could take this concept and run with it, um, but these are just basic ideas to get you started. So. The next thing I'll show you is the effects, and you can I'll access them from here. So in order to get something going, I'll just record in um, just a little bit of this piano sound. I'm gonna make sure I have my automation armed. And always remember to lock to control surface. That makes sure that the focus of skim won't be jumping around to random instruments and random effects. Okay, so now I'm going to grab one of these effects. Let's just say the, the beat repeat. I'm going to lock to it. And note that when we want to control effects on skim, we press this button to switch from synth mode to control mode. That lets us access this. Instead of sending a note, now you'll notice that there's no note that goes to this instrument. Instead, we get this gate, which allows us to turn on and off effects so I'm going to unarm the piano track so it doesn't record in emptiness. And I'm going to hit record again to record the automation. So that's how you use the Ableton effects. And you can check out all of these other ones and see how they work. The gated low pass is another one of my favorites because it's a low pass filter that only cuts in when you touch. So I'll show you what that sounds like as well. This is just a little side note about using third-party plugins with Skim. So let's say you want to use Serum. We have some Serum presets included in that downloads folder. And uh, we just load up Serum and we have to make sure to configure it. So this is what exposes the macros in Serum to Ableton. So in order to get these, you have to press configure and then just move X, Y, Z, and the third one, or the fourth one, in that order. 
and you'll see them show up here and then you click configure to exit out and I like to press save as default configuration and now you just make sure you're locked to the control surface arm the track and you should have control All right, and that's how you set up Skim for use with Ableton. So you can see how combining these instruments with the effects and performing in automation can create drastically different sounds, even with these very simple building blocks. So go ahead and have fun with all of these different sounds and see where you can take it. I hope you guys enjoy playing with these sounds. And if you want more sounds, you can head to our website and we're starting to create more and more preset packs. I would highly recommend checking them out. Um, you can look at some demo videos if you look at the different packs on our site. Um, there's some descriptions and some videos you can check out. Um, and like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more developments, working with more artists, releasing more sounds. Thank you.